This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Berry Q Nails. I'm so happy to welcome you back. Thank you so much to all of my returning subscribers. I appreciate y'all jumping up on this video once it's uploaded, because I know y'all got y'all bell notifications turned on, so I know it showed up at Berry Q Nails has uploaded a new video. Click. And also, thank you to anybody who is brand new. If you are brand new, welcome to Very Q Nails. We are a channel who focuses on nail application videos, nail unboxings, nail destigmatization. -stigma destigmatization, yes, that's correct. Of men wearing longer nails, nail extensions, because you know what? Life is too short to not do anything that makes you happy or brings you some type of joy. And don't let others take that away from you. So here we are a family. We are a bunch of awesome bear cubs, which is what I call my lovely subscribers, my lovely diamond bear cubs. I love you all so much. Please turn on those bell notifications if you don't have them on though. Because that would be great. <laughs> but, alright. Welcome back. I'm so glad y'all are here. Um, as y'all can see, this right hand, this little overlay is still going strong. Like, I need a fill. I need a fill. The nails are growing, honey. But I think what I'm going to do is I might just file down a little bit and maybe take a little length off and I think I might do a different color overlay maybe something a little different just to cover because like I didn't think when I put this on to like put on a more opaque color I thought it was gonna cover a little more but she is quite sheer <laughs> and with these dogs I get dirt under these nails every five minutes it feels like i just washed my hands like 10 minutes ago <laughs> and i was with the dog outside for a few and yeah but anyway today we're gonna be doing the left hand um and we are going to be doing something pride related because why not we are in pride month be prideful be happy be accepting be respectful be true to yourself live in your truth don't let nobody take that away it's pride month y'all we going to do some colorful nails i'm excited so we are going to be doing some stilettos. I'm excited. Um, I just keep these inside of my little Max Estrada email couture box. But these are my XL stiletto tips. So um, these are them long nails, honey. Them long ones. So we're going to pick out our sizes. And I don't know what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be something colorful. So I'll be back. All right, honey. So we got our sizes picked out. Um, I'm going to be using, I believe, my Young Nails brush on glue today. So while I'm doing this, for y'all that don't know, Pride Month, it is a month-long celebration. Of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgenders, and queer culture. That acronym, LGBTQ, 
which is pretty much like the standard one that maybe you might see. That acronym is growing all the time. You know, we have people, pansexuals, asexuals. You know, we have people that have different truths that they're living in. And we need to let them. So this month celebrates our culture, our achievements, and our activism. It's celebrated in June to honor the 1969 Stonewall Uprising that happened in my home state of New York. Specifically, it happened in New York City, in Manhattan, downtown, on Christopher Street. And it happened in 1969. It was called the Stonewall Uprising. So this occurred at the Stonewall Inn, which is a bar slash club located in downtown Manhattan. There was an uprising in 1969, which was a turning point for all LGBTQIA rights in the United States. The riots began when police raided the Stonewall Inn, which was a popular gathering place for LGBTQ people. And they were protesting against police harassment and persecution because uh, I know right now we're living in a tumultuous time for everyone. Back then, in addition to other marginalized groups that were unfortunately, you know, treated very terribly, unfairly, it was illegal to be gay or illegal to participate in those type of activities. It was illegal to dress up in drag, which I don't know if many of y'all know. Drag comes from Shakespeare, honey, dressed as a girl because women were not allowed to perform back in the day. So, anyways, the first Pride March was held in New York City on June 28th, 1970, which was the one year anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising or Riot, however you would like to call it. So the Stonewall Inn is actually still open in New York City. Hubby and I went, and we paid our respects when we went to New York years ago, because we had to, you know, oh my goodness, we had to pay our respects to those that stood their ground and were tired of being taken advantage of and tired of being persecuted for living in their truth. You know, and unfortunately, Charlie, it's so hot, this glue. Um, so it really allowed now people to be who they want to be and express themselves how they want to want to. You know, a lot of people don't understand, but you know, that's the good thing, I guess about the world that we live in, that everybody has to understand everything. But the LGBTQIA community ain't hurting every, anybody. We just over here trying to live, honey. We just trying to live and be happy and be like everybody else. 
you know i mean yes there are those types of people in any community that want to party all the time or be you know promiscuous but that's not everybody some of us just want to live normal quiet chill life like everybody else does child this nail fell off again this damn index finger But yeah, so that was the story on Pride. So for y'all that didn't know. All right, so what's happening with this nail? All right, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's wipe that off and let's try again. Not need that. So, for anybody that has more questions on the Stonewall riots or on the gay rights movement, definitely check out Google. Um, there are a, quite a few documentaries that are wonderful, um, that highlight some wonderful figures in our community that were pioneers, such as Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, you know, these were pioneers back in the day in the 60s and 70s in New York when it was illegal and they were living in their truth honey and getting stuff done so definitely check those out because i think if it's not if i'm not mistaken there was a marsha p johnson documentary on netflix which is fantastic i'm not sure if it's still on but you should definitely check it out all right honey so, we've got our nails on. So, next step, we are going to buff. So, we need to buff the little ledge that's right. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's a little ledge right here, and we want to get rid of that and clean these up, these little edges and stuff. So, give me one second.
so these have been buffed, filed, and all that great stuff. Ow. Shit myself a little bit. So let's just clean these with swipe. So I've uh, filed, I buffed, um, this one's a little wonky, but I'll try to fix it with the clear. Um, I applied some primer to the clear areas because I really want to be able to see through them. I'm going to use some of this in the city base coat because it's kind of thin. It's not like, look, it doesn't even, see, it doesn't even pull is how like not thin thick it is so I wanted to use this to kind of act as a little base coat um, to try and clear up the part that it left without the acrylic I'm gonna trust the process I don't know what I'm doing I'm trying to trust the process, child. See that glow? Can y'all see the glow yet? Ooh. I love that. It's gonna be fab. Alright, so we are going to be using our Born Pretty collection that we got in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out so you can see the beauty of all these colors, honey. I'm not using all of them, so definitely go and check out that video. All right, so I got my little box here. Okay, so I know I need a. Uh, these are my brushes, aren't they cute? I got them off Amazon. They were, sorry. I don't know if you can see that there. K-O-R-N-E, I'm sorry. Komal, K-O-M-A-L-L. Detailer brush. All right, so we don't want that one. We don't want this one. Um, I want to, ooh, this one might be good. All right, I'll use these two. I think I'll use these two instead. All right, and I'll use this. All right. Cool. So, ooh, I gotta clean that, Joe. Jesus. Um... You have a fine glitter now, it's just on you. All right, so my idea is that I wanted to do some sort of a rainbow effect. So I wanted to at least draw some lines, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, in these little windows. Is that too much? <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna get the colors I need on the palette. So, 
We're gonna need some red. I'm gonna put some over here too, because I need this. I need this to make orange. It's it's a it, this is a very golden yellow, neony type. I'm gonna try to add two drops to it, and then we'll just take our yellow, our green. I did shake these before. The flag that I'm doing is the original pride flag from the 70s. So we're doing the original all-inclusive flag, although I do love the brand new flag that contains um, the pink and blue for the trans and the black brown that represents the people of color in our beautiful community because honey we come in all different shapes colors sizes everything all right so let's see what we can get see a difference I think between this more orangey and the yellow so I'll take a little wipey get some swipe and clean off my little mixing thing I don't like stuff staying dirty y'all know me from but it was from a last set it's clean now all right so um so because they don't have much space i mean i kind of have space but not really so actually i'm gonna need some base coat to run through the bruh um i'm not making perfect straight lines today so um Let's start towards the end. Let's we'll start with purple. And... Okay. I like how subtle it is. Like, it's not, you know, like in your face, like, BAM! So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna add this to the windows that I have here. My little ventanitas. How do you say it in French again? Fen uh, fenêtre. Je place le couleur de la fenêtre. Something like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do two coats, but we'll see. Okay, so we got 
with that. Now I want to use two brushes just because I'm trying to maximize my time. So I'm going to now get the red and start on this beginning part. Oh, okay, so for those that have been sticking around and that have been around my channel, y'all know this is the most detailed painting I think I have ever done. <laughs> oh, child, my, my big bear paws and these little tiny spaces, I don't know. Okay. By the way, have um, Hubby and I just finished watching this show on Netflix called Baby Reindeer. Have any of y'all seen it? Because honey, we need to talk. Now, I'm not gonna give spoilers for those who haven't seen it, but honey, I need to do a little talking. Um. So, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Got a lint, damn it. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect with that show at all, right? I was not expecting what we got. <laughs> it is a very um deep show i want to say um has a lot of um has some disturbing things on it you know it has some unfortunately sa which you know if y'all don't know what sa is y'all can google it because i don't want to have any marks against my channel i think i went over Um, so yeah, and it's about a stalker situation, man, it was a good show, but, ooh, the drama, honey. Alright, so we got our red, our purple on, so we're gonna cure. Let me move this out of the way. And we're just gonna cure for 60 seconds, kind of to hold everything in place. And I'll be back. All right, honeys, we are cured. So let's take our wipey that had our swipe. And let's just clean out the previous colors. So we got our red. Our purple. Uh, kind of wipe those off. So uh, we're gonna go back in. We got two. So now we take our orange. Uh, two orange, red orange, and we'll put some right next to that red even cover like even overlapping a little is not terrible um the orange i'm more worried about with the yellow with the next color because you know this is a lot more pigmented but i think we'll be okay Have y'all seen any other shows that you might want to recommend? Um, usually when hubby and I are home and, you know, we have a moment of peace between all the animals and work, 
and errands and all that fun stuff. Um, you know, we kind of, you would think we want to sit down and watch something. Yay, nice. But, you know, we are really, we enjoy watching true crime, those kind of things. We like darker type stuff. We like horror movies. Yeah. Um, for me personally, you know, I'm not saying this for my hubby because I think this is true for me, um, as well as others that maybe have anxiety or depression and things like that. Uh, it's red, orange, yellow, blue. So, I'm blue. So, um, it's actually been proven that people with anxiety tend to like horror or thriller movies more than other types, you know, like comedies or dramas. You would think, you know, you would want a comedy, but, um, they actually, pr it's been proven that they actually prefer, we prefer, um, horror type movies because it's kind of taking us out of our anxious mind. It's taking us out of the continuous thinking loop. So it's kind of like making us focus on, it sounds terrible, but focus on another turmoil type of situation. So, you know, a lot of people with anxiety typically overthink about a lot of things in their life. So having something so major, like a horror movie or crime or something like that, definitely um, helps, I think. Like I literally feel calm when I'm watching thrillers, you know, or any type of movie like that. I genuinely am more calm than it when I'm watching a comedy or something like that, which is weird. Like, you know, but look, whatever, <laughs> whatever works. So anytime I'm feeling, you know, particularly anxious, I will pop on a horror or a thriller, just like I'm about to pop these in the lamp <laughs> for 60 seconds. All right, we are out of the lamp. So we've got some color. Oh, I feel like I can see it good. Should I put more? Maybe. Maybe I'll do a second coat before I continue. Take this orange. And put another little layer. Just for more of a color payoff. Um, these Born Pretty polishes are gorgeous and very well pigmented. But they do recommend, you know, if you want a really good pop of color, especially with jelly polishes, not just the Born Pretty ones, it's any jelly. But with anyone, if you want more of a color payoff, just hit it twice with the, um, the color you're talking, you know, you're trying to do. So it looks, it does look like I can get more of a color payout with this orange. I'm gonna try the blue again in a second. Oh yeah. I might have to go back and do the purple because I'm kind of liking the second coat of look a little more. Oh, so y'all know on how we need hours and stuff if we want to get monetized on YouTube. Well, I took it from our girl who does binge watch Wednesdays, our girl Kiera. 
Um, and I'm doing something similar, but I'm just, you know, anybody that shows that they're engaging, anybody that comments a lot, anybody that interacts, by the way, I'm going to put this back in for another 60. Anybody that interacts, um, you know, I just put on their channel and play their hours, play their videos just so we can get some watch hours and support each other. You know, um, a lot of us are on different platforms. Some of us are not on all platforms. Some of us are just here on YouTube. Um, Very Q Nails is available on YouTube. It's available on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All spelled the same way, same username. B-E-A-R-Y-Q-N-A-I-L-Z. Cause why? Cause we are fabulous, honey. That don't make no sense. But check me out on all the socials. Um, definitely, if you can, I know my subscribers, y'all my ride or dies. So, y'all always be hooking it up with the comments, sometimes with the likes. Um, you know, I really do tr uh, try to do what I expect what I hope others will do for me. You know, I try to watch a full video. I try to, you know, share people, uh, new creators, people that are new to YouTube. You know, sometimes I get on there and I share them on my community tab just to get more eyes on people, you know, more eyes on us smaller channels because, you know, these algorithms do not like us sometimes. So we kind of have to hustle extra hard to get seen. You know, so like, I, like, I was kind of disappointed at first with YouTube because I was like, yo, I'm, I'm commenting on all these people's stuff, you know, um, liking, I'm subscribing, you know, and then I have to realize, like, yo, everybody is not you, honey. Not everybody is going to reciprocate the same way, which sucks, but I'm still going to support creators that I see are putting an effort into their videos, putting an effort into engaging with us in the community. Copy Mac is in for another 60. Um, so yeah, and I try to share us on Facebook. It was really like, it's a lot easier for some reason on Facebook to grow as a content creator. Um, I think I have over 1800 um, followers on YouTube. I'm sorry, not a, ooh, I wish. No, I have over 1,800 followers on Facebook. And, you know, every few days I try to, you know, post a, a post about a video I've done or of my page, you know, and I, you know, if you have one of those pages, a professional page, you're able to do a at everyone. So anybody that follows you, you can just put at everyone and everyone will get notified. You know, so I do that, you know, hoping that, you know, maybe at that day a few people would click <laughs> on the link to, you know, get to my channel, but it's not happening. <sighs> you know, and it kind of sucks sometimes because like, damn, how huh, I got so many people over there, but not many over here. So that I got a little discouraged with YouTube and I went to Facebook and I got you know, a lot of followers over there. But now I'm just trying to migrate them all. I'm trying to share. I'm trying to do what I can. Because I really, I really do believe in my mission statement as Barry Q Nails to 
like this channel ain't just for me you know this is not just a hobby i firmly do believe in finding something an outlet a healthy outlet to bring you peace and calm and something that brings you happiness and if, you know believe it or not nails bring happiness to others as well you know i love when people are like oh my god can i see your nails you know and then i love the oh where did you get them done and then you say that oh i did it you know it feels good you know especially uh you know especially when it comes to people like look, i don't have many friends in real life in real life i have people that i can call genuine I can count on three fingers and you know look I'm blessed for that honey I am so blessed to have that because but then I don't know I don't I don't know if any of y'all deal with this because you know I've been dealing with anxiety and depression for a long time I've been diagnosed with agoraphobia, so I've, I'm a little nervous sometimes going out and going out into large places. Um, and I have a really hard time just communicating with people. I don't know why, you know, it's something I'm struggling with. I'm trying to improve, but I don't know. It's a lot going on. <laughs> but Very Cute Nails is not the space to talk about the issues or whatever you're going through. Very Cute Nails is where we come to talk about other stuff. <laughs> other people's problems and gossip. Have you heard about Diddy, girl? Honey, Diddy is Dunny. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That was stupid. But, yeah. Diddy is done, honey. If y'all haven't, um, heard of a queen called Jaguar Wright. She is a vocalist. She sings beautifully. She used to be, if I'm not mistaken, lead singer at one point of the band The Roots. Alright, so now I'm on yellow. Um, she, uh, she was the lead singer of The Roots. And honey, when I tell you this woman knows uh, she knows all the tea, honey. She knows everything going on in entertainment. She has done at least four, I think, five bombshell interviews, honey. And I mean bombshell. She was talking about all this Diddy stuff before it even got released. She knows. Oh, she know what's up. So, if y'all are interested, after y'all are done binge watching my playlists and checking out all the other fabulous content we have here on Berry Q Nails, <laughs> um, y'all can go on ahead and. This is yeah. All right, so I need to cure this first because I don't want any of the green mixing with the yellow. So, uh, you know, once y'all are done checking out all we have to offer here on Barry Q Nails, because I be looking at the analytics. Oh, I'm on YouTube Studio, honey. I'm looking, I'm seeing who, and trends, and I love y'all. I do this 
extra YouTube stuff because I genuinely love sharing what I'm learning with other people. Um, since I, you know, I don't have many people in my life to really, you know, share my things with. So, you know, y'all are my friends. Y'all are my Barry Q nails, my Barry Q cubs. You know, y'all are part of my little fam. So, I want to definitely share any accomplishments and to me a, a full nail set <laughs> done by me is an accomplishment so I definitely want to um am I holding it I definitely want to continue to do that and bring y'all some quality content. You know, I may not have the most exciting stories to tell. And sometimes I may literally just ramble for a while. But, you know, that's what we do. We talk. We see what's up. We got one more color to go. We got the green. But yeah. Uh, can't believe we are at the end of May. It is June, honey. We are literally halfway through 2024. I, 2024 started like 10 minutes ago. I don't understand. This year is moving ridiculously fast. Whew, and it has been a year so far. So, you know, we're just praying to God, praying to any higher power for strength, hope, willpower, love. All the good things that you need to get through the day and I'll be the first one to say I definitely do not have all those things every day so I genuinely pray and wish all the best for each one of you that is watching this right now I send you every positive vibe that I can dream of. I'm sending you every positive feeling that I can even imagine. I'm sending you all the love in the world because I know how it is. You know, I was talking to my mom yesterday and she was saying how, you know, I'm here for you if you need anything and I told her and I was like you know I know you are and I appreciate it so much you know but for me for me I definitely I told her I was like I'm just trying to do my best and make you proud because you know, I'm not trying to throw dirt on my siblings, but you know, my brother and my sister did not necessarily give my mom an easy time growing up. And there's such a huge gap in age between my, my, or wait, my sister and myself. Like we're over 10 years apart. So I am the youngest. They moved out when I was very young, so I basically was raised on my own. So, me and family connection and other things like that, it's difficult, but I was just like, look, I'm just trying to it being Pride Month. My coming out story was very it wasn't as bad as some people's um 
you know, for me at the time, I was dating somebody and we were at my, I was living with my family, my parents at the time. Um, I did have my own car, I was working, I was contributing to the household, and one day, I, oh, I'm hungry, my stomach is growling. One day I was coming home from an outing with the person I was seeing at the time, and my father just happened to come out because he had the habit of coming outside to see if my mom was home because she used to work nights sometimes. So he used to go stand outside sometimes. I forgot that. And he came out and he saw me hugging this person. <sighs> hugging, hugging, mind you, hugging. He, my parents live in a two floor condo building and it's like a, like rows. So like if you're facing the complex, they're in the second building on the right and there's like seven or six buildings in a row on the right and a, on the left. So you can go in to the right, come out to the same side or go all the way around, make a Yui and come out. So he came out and he started yelling, what in Spanish, what are you doing? You're an embarrassment. How could you be doing this outside? People could be watching. You're an embarrassment. You're, you weren't, you were raised wrong. And you are not welcome here. Like. He went off and he was screaming outside. Mind you, remember I told you about the rows? So it was like, they're like this. So like there's a row here, a row here of buildings. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, like that. So I'm in the second and I'm standing outside my car and what just happened? And I'm, I just look at the person and I'm just like, what just happened? And I start crying. I like, I fall onto my car to the trunk because I have no idea what's happening now. He just said, I'm not welcome back. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm freaking out. I didn't like, I don't know. So got back in the car and I just started driving. That used to be my therapy back in the day. I used to literally just get him, get in the car and drive. So I had to call my mom after I calmed down after a while. I told her what happened and she said, you know, she'll call me back. Luckily, she was able to talk to him and I was able to come back home. But him and I did not speak for, mind you, I lived with him at least a good year and a half until I moved out. So it was a, it was not the easiest because that is not how I wanted to come out to him. But look, it is what it is. Him and I never really got along. Um, never had a close relationship. So now we're kind of better. Uh, we are on speaking terms. We do talk once in a while. Um, it's not a, you know, we don't call each other and talk. It's more about if I'm talking to my mom on the phone, you know, he might get on the phone and talk to me for a minute. Um, but we had to have a, a big heart to heart at one point and it was a lot. We, I had a lot to get off my chest he said what he had to say, and that's that. But, so, moral of the story is I wanted to, regardless of the disappointment that they may have had for me not being straight, 
Um, I wanted to prove to them that regardless of that, regardless of my mental shortcomings that I have, regardless of all anything that I make them proud and not be a person that they have to be always helping. You know, I'm a Taurus. I'm stubborn. I'm taking some base coat now that I've, I'm sorry. I took, so I'm done with the rainbows. I think they came out very nice. I'm gonna take some base coat and just cover that and then cure just to lock the colors in. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell her and prove that regardless of all these things that I have going against me or all these obstacles that I'm going to have to overcome, that I can still show you that I'm I can still make you proud without having to go to you and ask for help. You know, I wish I was one of them. You know, you know, you watch all them shows, movies and TV shows, or even, you know, you know some people. Anytime they need something, they can go and they get a bunch of money from their families or their family buys them this and that. I've never been that type to be like, you know, I expect that. I've always seen my family work hard from a young age. You know, I've seen them struggle and hustle. So I really didn't want to. It's like, I don't want to, I didn't want to rock the boat, you know? But, so that's my little coming out story. <laughs> I ain't going to lamp for another. 60 seconds to cure the base coat. Ooh. So, that's that. You know, we do what we can. Everybody has a story. Everybody has something going on behind their eyes at all times of the day. So, my advice to everybody is just try and treat everybody with kindness because you really never know what somebody is going through you know like it really sucks because you know when you have depression and anxiety like I am on meds but it's, it's so disheartening sometimes because you can't find joy in things that you know you should find joy in even doing nails sometimes I like I'm doing them and I'm like why am I doing this but you know it's a day by day struggle I gotta convince myself every day look get up it's gonna be a good day we're gonna figure this out we're gonna get through whatever we need to get through and it's gonna be cool alright so <laughs> all right so um we are done in terms of applying the color okay so let's bring all this back i'm actually going to keep that side because it's clean. Alright, let's get this nice and clean. Drain out the liquid. Alright. So we're gonna encapsulate with core clear. From Young Nails and we are using the Young Nails um, monomer as well just so you know all right got 
entire bead. I want to encapsulate these fingers first. So we are just taking this clear, core clear from Young Nails and we are just patting it ever so gently down the nail, wiping every few little bits so nothing gets stuck. We don't want nothing getting stuck in our nice brush that we just got. today honey even though what I did is not that complicated I don't think um I'm glad I did it Way too emotional on this video today. color yeah, I worked hard on getting that color on now
so that this can be a little too much over there. Alright. Oh, whatever.
Okay, last one. Make sure my brush is clean. wash my hands and I'll be back all right honey so this is what we're looking like after we washed our hands and we got cleansed and all I think that we're looking pretty good so we're gonna do our shaping perfect our shapes buff get all that stuff done so I'll be back go look at that i think they look fierce the shape i think is good i think the balancing is fine like i, I actually think i did pretty damn good on these all right so um 
we are going to use some stones and I'm going to be using these. How beautiful. They fab. So these are crystals that I got from Evie from Long Hair Pretty Nails. And I'm going to be using the McCart Rhinestone Blue. So, one second.
All right, so we are done with the big stones. I'm gonna do a little AB stones because they're more rainbowish, and I'm gonna put them in some sort of an order on these. All right, and then the last one, I'm gonna do one finger simple with this black and white matte flower. I'm gonna put that by itself on the middle finger. And this is in remembrance. Of all those past that have unfortunately been victims of violence just for being themselves. This one is going to be by itself and now we're going to 
gonna put everything in the lamp for a full 60. All right, y'all. So here is the set before I've top coated. All right, so on, I feel like I should have done a base coat. I'm gonna do a base coat. I'm gonna use Evie's base gel, the Patty gel base coat, because this stuff is thick. And I wanna use some of this to even out some of the scratches because I did not buff this time using that trick that I learned of buffing with cuticle oil. So I totally forgot about that. But yeah, if you don't remember, um, in I believe it was my previous set video, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it was a trick that I learned from Tao from Not Polish. She said that um, it's really good to use um, to put some cuticle oil on your unbuffed nails and then you would go ahead and buff with the block but with the oil and what that does is it extra smooths out and seals in all of those things that we do not want Ugh, look at the color shining through that not polished um that born pretty honey that color is coming through so again the reason why i'm doing this is just for added security, I know people do this in different, like, order sometimes. Sometimes people will put the base code and then they'll um, cure it and then they'll put the rhinestone glue and then they'll put, they'll float the top coat over the rhinestone glue which is fine. I've done it before and it actually does really work. Um, but I forgot. <laughs> this set was important. Um, and I really wanted to do a really good job with this set, you know, in honor of all LGBTQIA people and know that you are not alone. There are people in this world who understand you, who have been through what you've been through, and we see you. This goes out to all the youth because when I was coming up there was nobody talking about being gay and you know aside from maybe Ellen um, which is amazing you know but you know sometimes you need people that look like you um, one of my newest stars or celebrities that I do um, look up to. Uh, it's terrible. I forget his last name. But I'm not sure if you've ever seen this show. It's called What We Do in the Shadows. And it's adapted from a movie. 
and it's on Hulu, and it's a show based off of the movie, and it is hilarious. Now, the character who plays Guillermo, he is a chubby Hispanic male who identifies as gay, and I love his character so much. I've never, I mean, look, I'm almost 40 years old, and this is the first time that I'm seeing an openly gay person of color who's openly gay, um, and who's not a typical, you know, stereotypical gay man, you know, or whatever people's perception of that is. You know, a lot of people have this perception that gay men should be all fit and jock-like, um, but that is far from the truth. We come all different shapes, sizes, colors, backgrounds, and it's important for all of us to know that, and it's important for the youth to know that because they need to know whatever feelings they're feeling, if they're feeling confused, they're feeling alone, they need to know that they have support, they need to know that they're not alone, and that there are people out there who will back them up. So honey, we are gonna go on the lamp for two minutes. All right. So we're out of the lamp. I didn't notice though, this changes color under UV. So this was like a whitish, but now it's like a purple. I like that. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of Evie's Patty Gel Top Coat. And we're just gonna go ahead and we are going to go around everything and put a nice thick top coat down. I love this top coat. It doesn't stain. It's very durable. Um, it doesn't not scratch easy. So it is a quality top coat from Miss Evie. Long hair, pretty nails, honey. Nice. Nice. Ooh, putting this top coat so close. Everything feels. Bottle's getting empty, y'all. Gotta hit up easy. Girl, send me, send me some more. Send me some top coat, girl.
lamp for two minutes all right so this is what we're working with all right but real quick I'm gonna do a quick little top coat happening situation on the bottom because y'all know I like that I feel if there is I feel it helps bring out any of the colors especially when you're doing a clear set especially when you're doing a clear set or something see-through you want to Make sure the underneath gets covered too. And also, I just like it because it gives it, for me, it gives it a more finished look. I like seeing shiny underneath. I don't like seeing, you know, some clumped up acrylic because my application sucks. <laughs> That's what we're working with. Child, I need some more top coat. See this? This is why I share with your friends. Share um, my channel and see if you can get them to subscribe right in front of you. Because this is why I'm trying to build my channel, y'all. I'm trying to keep getting my numbers up so I can get more so we can maybe hopefully get the Barry Q Nails family monetized and then we can start buying stuff for the channel increasing production quality honey better well not better because the products that I'm using are fabulous young nails born pretty not polish these are all amazing companies and i would like to continue um trying out their amazing variety of products for you all um and there's new acrylic companies out there you know coming out all the time and i would love to be able to get them and try them out for you You know, I know a lot of people use YouTube as, you know, product reviews and stuff like that because, you know, it really is the best way I find as opposed to, you know, finding reviews on Amazon underneath because you really get to see the person using a product. You get to see the actual live results and what's going on. So I like that. All right. Two minutes. Upside down. All right, my babies. Here is the set, my darlings. I'm loving it. What y'all think? Let's see. Ooh, let's see what's up. It's a little light in my room right now. Ooh. Finish it off. With some of our trusty cuticle oil from your local beauty store, beauty nail supply, whichever you have around you. Some of them have fabulous products, so check them out. This oil came in like 
a bottle that they had and I don't know what it is child but it's amazing all right so my darlings this is my set for pride month 2024 in memory of all those we've lost always remember to love look to the moon and the stars you're all diamonds and I love y'all very much so today was a product filled day. So we used Young Nails Monomer, we used Not Polish Acrylic 2 and 1 powder called Open Mind in G24. We used Young Nails or clear to encapsulate and we used our swipe for our dehydration from Young Nails as well from Young Nails our protein bond also known as primer we used this Miss City base coat and I got this off Timu we used McCart's rhinestone glue we used patty gels top base coat from Evie long hair pretty nails We use products today, honey. And we used the fabulous Born Pretty collection. So we used all colors except the pink for this set. However, we know the pink is fabulous. Here is the swatch from that pink. So y'all can see, I did an unboxing for this amazing package that I received from Born Pretty as PR. The package, this was the box. So it was the Born Pretty All Shine On Me Neon Garden Ice Jelly Collection. We used a lot of products today for these. But yeah, I'm glad they turned out good. Better than I thought. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so, so much for sticking around with me today. Sending love, light, and positivity to you all from the bottom of my heart. Love, you're all diamonds. I love you all. And I'm going to, how would I do? I push positivity towards all of y'all. I push, push positivity. I'm going to push it towards all of y'all. Push that positivity, love, light, prosperity. Wishing you all an amazing day. And until next time, thank you for joining us at Berry Q Nails. Subscribe if you're not. Share with your friends. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out Born Pretty and their Neon Garden Ice Jelly Collection available on Amazon and their website. And it's pride, y'all. <laughs> Support anybody in your life that is part of the LGBTQIA plus community and 
show them you love them and that you care and they're people just like you and me. I'm a person, right? <laughs> but I love y'all. Take care and I can't wait to see you next time. Mwah. Bye, 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 bye. Peace. I just dropped something. Bye.